Hey guys, welcome to Helmig Homestead. So today, I do have a small little project. It's getting that time of year. It's October. It's time to go through our equipment and winterize it. Things that we're not going to be using. So things like this two-inch pump. You guys saw a video on it. Works great. We're going to disconnect the hoses, uh, get any fuel in it, dump it out real quick. I'll show you a few tricks on that, and uh, we're going to get ready for winter. Okay, so we got our hoses off. Now, there's a little bit of fuel in here, I know, so I'm going to dump it out. Anytime you're dumping out a fuel uh, out of a piece of equipment like this, find your air cleaner and dump your fuel the other way. Okay, if you dump it this way towards the air cleaner, your oil is going to leak out of your crankcase, come right up through your uh, through your carburetor and your air cleaner, and you're going to have a big mess. So just dump it the other way real quick. Try to be speedy. Just get her out of there, and uh, we're going to be filling it back up with just a little bit of something else. Okay, so our fuel's dumped out. Now I'm going to pour in a little bit of VP small engine fuels. It is pre-mixed. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything. I'm just going to put a little dab in there anyway. So... Uh, True Fuel makes this, all kinds of people make this now, and it's mostly just all paraffins, right? Which if you look at all the additives and stuff in pump gasoline, it's really hard on your on your engines. That's what goes stale. This stuff is guaranteed to stay fresh in a tank for up to two years. We're only going to let it sit for a couple months. Um, especially ethanol gas, if you let that stuff sit in a carburetor, it's going to just leave a big gummy deposited mess. And you're going to have a heck of a time starting in the spring. This won't leave anything. Any little residue that is in there, it's still going to be good anyway come spring. Um, it's just got a cheap insurance to make sure your stuff is going to start in the springtime. Uh, put fresh gas in that sucker and pull on it, and she should fire right up with no worries, no gum, no varnish, no nothing. So let's get that done. That's it. That's all I'm going to put in there. It's going to be just enough to fire, run through the carburetor, and then I'm just going to let this thing sit here and idle until it runs out of fuel. Okay, now she's out of fuel. Let's, uh, let's turn the gas off. That way if there's any residue in the tank over the winter, I don't want the water going down to the carburetor. So... How easy is this going to be to get to? I think we're going to need a wrench. Uh, so the next thing I'll do is on the carburetor bowl here, I'm just going to drain out any excess that might be in there. And then the fuel system is totally empty. Any residue in there is going to be not harmful. Then we're going to get to draining the pump. Not a whole lot of fuel left in there. Might as well inspect it. Everything looks good. Stick her back on. And now you have a totally clean carburetor. Alright, that's a little hard to do with one hand. I'll let you guys go use two hands. Okay, we got her back on there. Tighten her up. You don't want to over tighten that, but you do want to get it snug. Now the last thing before we put a cover on her, maybe that'll come out by hand. Let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this is your actual pump, right? And this is a two-inch trash pump, so it's pumping water. So before it starts freezing, we want to get all the water out of there. So just pull the plug, let her drain out, tip it up a little bit. And that should do you. We can plug back in. Now the pump is winterized. Your fuel system is winterized. The oil level is good. I'm just going to put a cover on this thing, and it's good till spring. <laughs> 